What's up guys, go back to a brand new video, man. We have some more information about WWE 2K24. New massive details, new renders uh, has been confirmed as well. So let's get into it, man. So make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, so this is coming from Brian Williams, man. So also follow the socials in the description, follow the TikTok, follow the Twitter, and all that stuff. Um, Brian Williams says this. I'm glad y'all joined the little qol features that we added in 2k24 i'll show another small one the front corner leaning run attack category has expanded from one move slot to three the game now has running light heavy and grapple attacks from that situation okay so that's pretty cool um they upgraded expanded the front corner leaning run attack which is dope could you hit a move to do with the grab position uh, he says could you tell us if you're working on to fix the broken hair physics as uh, it's been a persistent problem throughout 2K23. It's been uh, seen slight in the early 2K24 footage. I hope this issue is finally getting resolved soon. Another comment says, this is a hammer throw animation back too. Can Tornado Tag matches be added to the backstage brawls? Love it. Also news from moveset creators like myself, but when, uh, but what about standing TB light attacks? We used to have two in 2K19, but now it's limited to only one. I was back to two, so I ain't got sacrifice a light strike or switch between them and create a move set are you talking about running tv strikes have a, a ai tag team matches been fixed to where they don't break up every single pin before the ref has even counted one since it doesn't sound like universe is getting much needed q o l changes though let's face it the whole mode needs a completely overhaul at this stage could we please get a new universe for when you finally leave the last gen behind will probably hopefully be next year yeah universe mode the fix is probably next year because they it's focused on other modes other game modes and stuff like that um most hated bunny has some more news about wwe 2k24 so we got to get into it man so we haven't talked to him about a minute so um yeah let's get into it he has some more renders to talk about things like that some uh questions he answered and stuff like that but um yeah so let's say here uh we are 30 days away from 2k24 we're basically 30 days away from release date um, interesting to know, say the least, hashtag 2 24 pinpoint, notice how nobody has gameplay in the Raw arena or NXT arena. Hmm, so arena now sh we shall see if Samantha is getting cooked and saved for that final build. Uh, that's interesting. That's, I didn't point that out, because nobody, when you got to look at the early footage gameplay, nobody really has gameplay in the Raw arena or in the NXT arena, which is interesting. Somebody says, I was just saying this yesterday, um, from that tweet you posted, so, that's very interesting he pointed that out uh yeah i don't care that was beta testing hashtag 2k24 i can see them updating happening for that commentary announcers the team were being swerved uh are the bell twins still in the game he said no he confirmed a couple of ago they didn't remove so bell twins has been removed from 2k24 which is interesting uh yeah removed the bell twins are removed from the game so don't expect the bell twins to be in 2k24 because obviously they are gone they changed the name to the garcia twins which is quite interesting that they did that uh so let's scroll down here i'll show you guys about michelle mccool the other day uh she's been demanding for this for two years it's time hashtag 2k24 don't disappoint us so yeah uh, michelle mccool wants to be the game that would be amazing um have you heard anything about dana emma or leah he said removed unfortunately so emma demma and emma dana and Aaliyah all got removed from 2K24. So don't expect them to be in the game. They got released from the company as well. So don't expect them to be in 2K24 at all. All right. If they do make the cut, then, you know, that's good. But probably not. Who wants render confirmation part three? So here's some new renders right here. Hashtag 2K24 renders confirmed part three. So we have Dominic with the stereos new render uh, right here. So his Judgment Day attire. So I think there will be a faction entrance for Judgment Day this time around. 100% man. So Judgment Day, it's going to have four people in it this year. But JD McDonough is not going to be in it this year. So don't expect JD McDonough to be in the game. And the entrance. That's too late. It's way too late to have him. Um, but yeah, Raquel Rodriguez uh, looking like she has her WrestleMania 39 look um with this attire right here when she was woman and then another look like this when she was women's tag team champions which is good news i like this render it's pretty cool i know you guys are very very care much about the render so this why i'll show you guys this right here um and then here's another render right here it looks good um but yeah this is renders confirmed part three uh i think it's best renders of dirty dom what do you think bunny is Wolfgang DLC. Dom needs a new render. Dom needs a better render, to be honest. Now we need confirmation of Joe and Mark. It's a guy who's got in the game. Show us a Ronda Rousey render. 
that's the first round of Rousey. I think the best render of Dirty Don. What do you think, Benny? He said, oh, yeah. Um, Core's render. His Core J's render right here. He's saying this is Core J's render for WWE 2K24, which is interesting. That's this one that they choose. Um, I never knew it would be that one. But, hey, Trick, would John Cena have 20, his 2023 Fastlane gear? I haven't seen John Cena. I don't know why they saved as John Cena. Where's the same entry for we want the uh, hashtag we want 2K24 roster reveal? That's what I've been searching for all night. Oh, yeah, they doing the hashtag we want Cody. Hashtag we want 2K24 roster reveal, man. Do you know something about it, buddy? Let me see here. He talked about the roster day. He said mid February. So more than likely, it's February 15th. Um, and things like that would be the roster reveal more than likely just because it's usually at the mid of the month and they probably drop a new trailer this week as well uh at some point in time they drop a new trailer this week um just because they usually drop a trailer uh at the beginning of february like the last two years dropped it february 1st for 2k23 and then for 22 they dropped it january 31st so i don't know why i have they have dropped a trailer yet but you know we have some more information. Tori Wilson is definitely being heavily reported, by the way. Hashtag 2K24. So Tori Wilson is being heavily reported for 2K24 news. Um, the only insider to, to confirm roster cover features matches, attires, returning superstars, and DLC as well as showcase matches. Hashtag 2K24. When 2K reveals everything, don't tell me I didn't tell y'all. So, which is true. He did say that. Okay. Uh, you guys wanted it. Believe he's coming back. Hope you guys are ready. Hashtag 2K24. Put it here first. He has a cane render, which is interesting. He has his cane render right here. Tori Wilson's render. Okay. Yes, majority of all. He said, hi, will all the few ones get new attire? He said, majority of all will get new attires for 2K24, which is great news, man. And then 2K24 confirmed part three. Here's some of the legends right here. I'll show you guys some of the legends. Mankind. This is a nice touch. I like Mankind. Um... Andre the Giant versus Miss John Stud is confirmed. Hashtag 2K24 for showcase mode. Okay. Hey, buddy, can you show us all the attires for everyone in the game? Okay. So that's confirmed for showcase mode. All right. Uh, but, yeah, that's it for this wrap-up of news this weekend. Um, more news will be coming every single day. So make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow the TikTok. Follow the Twitter and the socials. Let me know what you guys think about these renders. Let me know which 2K did you guys pre-order in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're going to roll to 10,000 subscribers. We're more than halfway there now. So we're going to continue on uh, dropping good content for you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Turn on your post notifications. And comment down below, did you guys enjoy Vengeance Day? Because after the recording of this video, Vengeance Day is over. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.